Nancy Pelosi once said, Women are leaders everywhere you look. This is even true for Sebi and Madhabi Puri Buck. She is the first woman chairperson of the Securities and Exchange Board of India, Sebi. Her being the first non-IAS chairperson and from a private sector background makes her achievement even more special. She graduated with a mathematics degree from the St. Stephen's College, Delhi and later did an MBA at IIM Ahmedabad. Her career started in 1989 with ICICI Bank. Between 1993 and 1995, Buck worked as lecturer at West Cheshire College in England. She worked in various profiles across companies for 12 years including sales and marketing and product development and also led operations functions. In 2006 she joined ICICI Securities and later went on to become the managing director and CEO from February 2009 to May 2011. Buck then moved to Singapore to join Greater Pacific Capital in 2011. Between 2011 and 2017 she worked in various capacities as executive director of many companies like Zanza Technologies, Innovan Capital, and Max Healthcare. Buck also served as an independent director of the Indian School of Development Management, ISDM, and as consultant for New Development Bank, BRICS Bank. In April 2017, Buck was appointed as a whole time director at SEBI and given charge of portfolios like collective investment schemes, surveillance and investment management. After her tenure ended she was appointed to a seven-member technology committee formed to help SEBI design in-house technological systems. Known for her technology and data agnostic attitude, Buck has passed a few landmark regulatory orders. It is said that in her role as the SEBI chairperson Buck has been credited with bringing rapid changes conducive to the system and corporatization of the organization to improve efficiency. In 2018, she passed an order against Sahara Group to return 14,000 crores raised from investors through fully convertible debentures in violation of SEBI order asking them to furnish the details of repayment to investors in compliance of its previous orders. In January 2021, Buck conducted a detailed investigation into insider trading by CNBC Awas journalist and barred him, his mother and wife from accessing the stock markets. In May 2021, she passed an order against Savla and Ajit Kumar for sharing unpublished price-sensitive information of Deep Industries stock on the basis of their connection and interaction on social media platforms. In August 2021, she identified 15 entities trading in unfair practices in the Z Entertainment Enterprises stock post its results announcements. Buck was questioned by the Parliamentary Committee in reference to the NSE scam. With her leadership, Buck has undertaken an overhaul of the organization to improve productivity and enhance accountability and fairness at SEBI. In her first 100 days as the chairperson, she has brought about rapid changes in the organization, processes and regulation of the markets. Buck introduced the corporate system of CRAS to drive focused action on areas that need attention the most with a special emphasis on cybersecurity and use of tech and data. She has driven the process of seeking extensive market feedback on any key policy changes. With her appointment, she has managed to change the organization for the better. She is proof of how women can be leaders no matter what.